Today in the news, we got Intel showing its strongest asset, Nvidia doing their thing again, and a flying smartphone. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. As we know, the company is in trouble, or at least for us gamers. I mean, financially, they have some $20 billion on hand and the uh, last quarter was their best ever. So no, financially, they're fine. But just in terms of the desktop performance and innovations in the consumer CPU space, uh, it's not that great. But that is mostly due to the uh, hiccups that they've been having over and over again on their manufacturing process. I'm talking about you, 10 nanometers. Thankfully though, in the last couple of years, Intel has been sort of offloading some of its chipset manufacturing to other companies. And in the last year or so, we've heard rumors after rumors of current and future CPUs being manufactured by those companies. Heck, this year, with the announcement of Intel's XEHPG line of GPUs, the company officially confirmed that that HPG lineup would be manufactured externally, with most reports pointing at the TSMC N7 process being used, that's seven nanometers. Which brings us to the news. It looks like Intel will be using its superpower to get ahead of AMD in 2022. AMD hit Intel extremely hard in terms of the data center grade CPUs. I mean, Epic really cleaned out Intel and has been for the last couple of years. And as you might already know, data center is where the money is actually made. $10,000 for your CPU? Yes, please. And can we have the extended warranty? In any case, Intel really doesn't want to keep losing money to their red team in that department. So in order to sort of leapfrog AMD in 2022, Intel will be jumping straight to TSMC's three nanometer process. Now you might say, well, if Intel can jump onto three nanometers, so can AMD. Well, sure, but the capacity will be limited. If you look at this chart, for example, that's the uh, wafer shipment breakdown by customers for TSMC at the seven nanometer level, AMD and Nvidia are big players here. But then if we look at five nanometers, well, some of these companies definitely used their superpower cold hard cash. Now this is the wafer shipment as is the cost that Apple sunk into TSMC is much greater because to have that kind of allocation, you have to, you know, sweeten the deal. So Apple actually helped TSMC build and research their five nanometer process. Now, apparently Intel will take the same approach as Apple by, you know, giving money for R&D and helping build the three nanometer process. And that will allow them to beat AMD and Nvidia to the punch by a long shot. In fact, Intel would actually be taking about the same percentage in terms of allocation as Apple. And if Apple's allocation of five nanometers is any indication, Ouch, it's gonna be a large percentage. Now, does that mean that we're getting three nanometer CPUs next year? Heck no, not us consumers at least. We probably won't see it for another couple of years. Intel really just wants its server money back right now. So that's probably where they will focus. For us in the mainstream, we'll probably be stuck with 10 nanometer Superfin for uh, Alder Lake and Raptor Lake and seven nanometer for uh, Meteor Lake. There's no word on if uh, Intel plans on going five nanometer before three nanometer for their consumer grade CPUs. So yeah, for the mainstream, that three nanometer is at least three and a half years away. Next up, we got Nvidia. It looks like the company isn't done with their super naming scheme. The company first introduced the super nomenclature in 2019 as a sort of yearly refresh, I guess, of the 2000 series. And almost every card had that treatment. And apparently the name is coming back and it would come back next year for the 3000 series, at least for the laptop GPUs. This information comes from a leaker over on Twitter and the super name was also spotted by videocards.com for a Lenovo device specifically with a 3080 super and a 3070 super. Next up, let's talk smartphone. And this, well, what I'm about to show you is a very special patent. It comes from Vivo and it would include a freaking drone, a smartphone with a drone. No, not as an add-on or something on the side. The phone would just have a drone inside of it and it would basically like slide out and It's gone. At the start, I didn't quite understand what this could really do, but then I thought, you know, like if you want an overhead shot, pop out the drone, put it up and then 
it'll take pictures because it has a camera on the front and a camera on the bottom. Now, obviously this is just a patent and the chances of this coming to fruition are very slim, but now I kind of want one. What about you? Let me know down below. Then let's do a free game check. Today and today only, you can get the Spectrum Retreat for free on the Epic Store. It's a puzzle slash strategy game. Watching the trailer, I honestly don't know what I was watching, but I'm gonna give it a go this weekend since, you know, it could be fun. I like puzzle games. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can right here to see the latest video and right here uh, to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to eat the chip. <laughs>